Communities That Care here is a coalition that is uh, concerned about the health and well-being of all the young people in our community. We needed to find a way to focus all the various agencies in the community that worked with youth on the most serious problem. And it did turn out that substance abuse prevention was the greatest need here. The schools that were involved did a survey of the 8th, 10th, and 12th graders. And with that data, we were able to determine what were the risk factors in our community, what were the protective factors, and so we could focus um, where we wanted to target our programming. We decided on what our priority risk and protective factors were based on the data that we collected from the Teen Health Survey and other data sources and also based on what made sense for our community. In order to address these priorities, we split into four work groups. Um, the work groups are all action oriented. We have a parent education work group, a youth recognition work group, a community laws and norms work group, and a prevention education work group. The Community Norms Work Group does environmental strategies, things like compliance checks and purchase surveys to try and increase the public's belief and certainly young people's belief that adults in the community really don't want young people to be drinking. A compliance check sends somebody into a bar, restaurant, or package store who's under 21 to see if as a minor they are served. Do you have any idea what I don't have it on me. I gotta have it. What we want to add this year is actually having a reward or an incentive for servers, given something that rewards them for asking the minor for ID. And so to acknowledge that you've done the right thing, we want to give you a free container of Bart's ice cream and also ask you to enter our drawing. We draw one name once a month of the servers who do card minors and um, give $100 to the winner of the drawing. You know, to reach parents, you can't just do one approach. You really have to take a multi-pronged approach and try to reach parents on a lot of different levels. At this point we have uh, billboards that we've put up, we have um, educational materials that we're putting out. We're also having a family day event that we're involved in when families are encouraged to eat meals together. This is our fourth year teaching the All-Star curriculum here at GMS and it's been, it's been very well received by our students. People who drink alcohol and drive are <laughs> and what's so important about this curriculum is that we know that it's fact-based and therefore they know that it's fact-based. It's really quite a well put together program. The uh, data that we've seen from the Teen Health Survey, the 2003-2006 data, shows that we are making a difference.